All this week, we've been taking you into the lives of refugees who now call Indiana home. Refugees from all backgrounds have been settling here in Indianapolis for years now, but last year was the first time that a local organization got caught up in the crosshairs of the refugee debate. Here's our partner at Decode DC, Miranda Green, with a story you will only see here on our TV6. Before Indiana Governor Mike Pence was Donald Trump's running mate, he took his own stand against Syrian refugees. We thought it was simply appropriate uh, for us to suspend this program. Pence was one of 31 governors to ban Syrian refugees following the Paris attack. Opponents sued to stop the order in Indiana. Well, it seemed like an obvious and appalling example of discrimination based on nationality and national origin. It seemed like the state was attempting to insinuate itself into the foreign policy of the federal government. The court agreed and issued a scathing rebuke. Are Syrians the only Muslims that Indiana fears? Well, this has nothing to do with religion. This has to do with what's going on. Oh, of Syria. course it does. And that ruling is already setting a national precedent. Shortly after the Indiana decision, Texas withdrew a similar appeal for its directive. How do you think that the lawsuit and the directive really affected refugees that are already settled in the state? If refugees knew, which I assume they did, I think it's a shame that given the uncertainty that their lives had been subjected to by all these outside forces, to then be welcomed to the United States and have to deal with more uncertainty is, is, a, real, uh, is a real shame. And more assured about their rights and their new homeland. Well, I can tell you, regardless of who's in the governor's mansion, we'll continue this work because it's important and because it's, it's one of the best things we do as a country. And we're going to continue to stand up for refugees and continue to welcome them in Indianapolis. Now, Governor Pence could still take the case all the way here to the Supreme Court. But one thing is certain, refugees are still coming to the United States. In fact, just this year, President Obama announced the U.S. will welcome 110,000 new refugees into the country. That's a 30 percent increase from the number allowed the year before. For Decode DC, I'm Miranda Green.